Then so I'll be doing a diagnostic on my Land Rover Discovery 3 as my first um, diagnostic with this machine. So the OBD2 plug is basically situated down at the bottom over here. I'll just sort of find it quickly and then get it plugged in. So we'll just plug it in like that. Okay, you can actually hear the machine trying to find the, the VIN number there. Okay, it's doing an auto VIN scan. We'll see if it finds it. If it doesn't, we have to put it in manually. Okay, so it's found the VIN. Alright, Land Rover 2006 model it says. Okay, that's a discovery. So we'll press uh, OK. Alright, and then uh, it will be loading up and uh, going to the... The next step now it will initialize the system and try and read the, the and try and read it. So here it's giving the true, I know it my, my car is a 2008 model. Okay, so we go ahead and we say yes, go ahead with that. Okay, so now it will configure the data, you know, and the data will load and then it will do a diagnostic scan. Right, there you go. Alright, so it's got a, it's now got a basically uh, done uh, um, a test. It says that the engine uh, control module, the transmission control module, and the supplemental inflatable restraint system, there's no faults there. Okay, so we basically want to share this because this has the capability of basically sending this report to your customer. But I'm going to, in this case, send it to, uh, send it to me. Okay, it says no network available, so let me just get my um, uh, my Wi-Fi set up. Okay, so with a good um, Wi-Fi signal, we can now share this information. As I said, I've got this set up to go to my email. Okay, so um, you know I've got my email address in there, the diagnostic report for the Land Rover. We'll say send, and it sends that report. So with that report sent now, we can actually sort of uh, go back, okay, and we can go and do some live, um, some uh, live uh, data streaming here, okay. We we'll go into the engine uh, management uh, system, all right. Uh, we'll read the live data streams, all right. And here you can see we've got 61 different uh, pieces, bits of information, like uh, throttle, pedal, center, and it is in alphabetical order. Okay, you've got cylinder balancing, um, offsets, you've got engine speed, engine oil temperature, you've got all that uh, information which you can access to see if the information is correct. So if you do have a, um, if you do actually have a, uh, a, a fault code, you know, you can look for that particular fault, you know, get the data, read it, see if it's correct or not. Okay, we can go out of that, that's the engine system. Then you can go into, you can do the same for the, um, you know, uh, for, for, for the transmission system here. You can read data streams over there as well. You can clear fault codes. Uh, this is showing nothing, obviously. Okay. So, you know, everything is here. Um, you know, control modules for internal temperature, gear position selection, you know, because we're now in the transmission, um, in the transmission diagnostics. Then we can go out of that, and we can go to, um, we can go to the supplemental inflatable restraint system, which uh, in simple language is basically your airbag system, okay. You can also read live data there, alright, and there's about 34 different uh, bits of information which you can stream down from there. Alright, so that's um, how uh, comprehensive this the basic machine is. Okay, we really want to quit that module over there. We can go back to home and then we'll take a look at all the other features that we have here. We, so you can diagnose manually. Okay, you can go and you can now select the make of vehicle. 
uh, and go through that same procedure to do the diagnostics okay that you do through diagnose obd2 will basically also connect to the system it will read all the systems that are available you will see that the uh, uh, CAN bus protocol OBT2 ISO system is a match over there because now it's checking which system is going to be used, which OBD system is going to be used to actually do the scans on the car. Okay, you will see some of them have failed, so that will mean that they, we're not gonna, uh, it's not gonna use that system, it'll use the first one. Okay, the um, OBD2 ISO CAN bus protocol is a match. All right, so. Uh, let's get out of there as well. I really want to quit yours. And then uh, I am readiness. I am readiness is basically for your for your emissions. Okay. We're talking about the exhaust. We're talking about catalytic converter. We're talking about oxygen sensors. Okay. Um, uh, in today's day and age, you know, the um, emission control over the world is very strict. And they're going to uh, lay down some new rules in the 2025. And all cars must comply. Otherwise, they're going to be taken off the road. Okay, so that is basically our IM readiness, which means that it'll do a scan on the car and it'll check all that emissions, that emission systems to make sure it's working properly. Okay, and then we have our reset, uh, reset functions. Uh, there's five units I can reset here. I can add on to this through the mall, which I'll show you just now. Uh, we can do a brake reset, the electronic parking brakes and that. If your re electronic parking brake gets stuck, uh, uh, um, or on the on position and you can't get it to release you can use this program to do that okay so the oil reset we can uh, reset the oil and service uh, um, uh, lights we can also reset the uh, uh, restraint systems electronic throttle relearn we've got that program there sometimes your car idles funny you know it may be searches what idles too high or too low we can actually reset that okay and then your uh, tire pressure monitor system uh, which this car doesn't have but i mean it can read tire pressure monitors systems as well okay so we go out of there that's how the reset battery voltage is actually what it says uh, then we go to data data is basically it'll store all the diagnostic records all the diagnostic reports it'll build up a dtc library which is a full code library uh, dlc is a data link connector it'll show you a diagram of more or less where you can find the data link connectors on the various cars um, then uh, we go back to uh, uh, our mall, we get free upgrades, it shows that there's one upgrade available, but it always shows that. Then we go, then we have a settings here, which you can, uh, you, you can adjust your uh, unit of measurement, your screen capture, whether you put that on or, or on or off, automatic detection on connect. If you connect the machine up, do you want it to automatically detect the car and all that like we did now? And then, of course, you have sound control, you have network, okay, we're basically using uh, the Huawei uh, dongle uh, over here, which is giving us a good uh, good old Wi-Fi signal over there, so that we can uh, connect to the internet. Now, another thing, another feature that I've read about, uh, okay, let's just go on here, time zones, language, workshop information, I put all my workshop information in over there, you know, so when I email, all that information is there. Uh, recovery if you want to recover data that's been lost uh, you can clean up the memory and then of course about about is all about maybe the uh, the version of the software and uh, the machine that it's using over here all right so uh, what i find really interesting is the more because you can go and you can purchase more modules okay i'll give you an example of uh, different modules air suspension reset module um uh, abs bleeding over there uh, air conditioner uh, 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 systems Adaptive front lighting, uh, air fuel reset, um, air calibration as I said, battery matching, crank position sensors, um, EGR adaptation, engine power balance. Engine power balance is very, uh, it's very um, um, interesting. Um, you know when your car has a misfire with these modern cars, we don't have all plug wires, we have pencil coils. So you can't really pull those pencil coils, you know what I mean, because you can damage something. So what you do is you get that, uh, you, 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 you pour, put into that uh, power, that uh, engine power balance a unit over there, and now you can kill a cylinder, each cylinder individually. So the cylinders that uh, respond are the ones that are fine, the ones that don't respond, obviously the misfire is there. So, you know, that's what it's basically useful. It's got many other little modules over there, and they all cost 1495 each, which is about 800 rand in uh, South African rand as we speak. We're speaking September 2021. And, um, you know, you can basically go and you can purchase these modules when you find the need to.
ok, um, as I said, the machine is basically touchscreen, it reads the four basic uh, uh, modules uh, on the cars, the engine, the uh, transmission, the ABS, and the, um, the, 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 the airbags and, and, and the restraint system, ok, um, I paid five and a half thousand rand for this. I got the 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 the, the, the cabling free as you've seen in the unpackage uh, uh, in the unboxing video. You know the pre uh, uh, OBD2 uh, uh, cables which I got, which I can still test for all cars. You know with this system, and um, you know I just find that it's very comprehensive for the price because when I started looking at uh, you know uh, uh, these diagnostic testers, they were going for twenty thirty thousand rand. And you know, to spend five and a half thousand for something like this, built lacquer like robust like this, you know, you've got a good screen over there, it's a touch screen. Um, I think that it's uh, really, really awesome. Okay, so look, that this was just my initial uh, uh, first uh, re, uh, first diagnostic with it. Okay, when I do get a car in that really has a problem, we're going to test it and we're going to see how good this, this thing is. You know, we're going to test and try to find the fault, and that should be pretty interesting. All right, but from me, Gary Dela Cruz from VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Drive carefully. Cheers. Thank you.